So. so what club you got there, Tiger? Oh. <laughs> I spun oh. it back. <laughs> <laughs> what club was that? That wasn't a 60? That was a 60. That was a 60? Yeah. Try it again. How did he do that? He's got, because he's got a spinny ball. I know, I know, but like, our, that's TP. And he, and he cuts through. across it. That's going to spin. Yeah, see? So you, uh, hold on. When you're hitting that shot, Tiger, come here for a sec. I want to, I want to get your <coughs> thoughts too. So when you're hitting that shot there, Rory, you're, what are you trying to do with the face through impact? So I try to, I guess I'm trying to, I'm not really thinking of the face. I'm trying to right. release the club underneath yeah. the ball and yep. get the shaft like back to vertical at impact, I guess. So you really like release it underneath it. Yeah, because I can see your hands going underneath yeah. this way. Yep. But you have a very abbreviated swing. When you're hitting that that low spinner as well, do you do the exact same technique? Was it like that? No, I try and cover it just a little bit with my body. Mm. So I'll have it open and try and cover it and then let it go at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's got some nip on it. Can you feel oh. it in your chest? So like you I, open your chest up a I bit? I move it, I move the chest yeah. and then I throw it at the same time. So it's, it almost feels like a, like, yeah. like almost everything is going. Almost, almost like, like a little exactly. bit of top sort Correct. of throw. Okay, yeah. Mm. I'm never, so, <clears throat> what I about, love yours because you're so, you've just got this, this structure in your arm so good and it doesn't break any, you know, I love that. I like, I, like out of bad lies, like I, I try to pretend I'm you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, man. Oh, I, um, you get really wide. Yeah, I got wide. Yeah, I love that. Especially out of like rough if you got a bad but, lie. Okay. Get, so, you know what? Getting low when you hit a rough in here though? Can you hit it? Draw that way? Yeah. No, so, like with your technique being wide like that. Depends how low you are. Yeah. Yeah. And depends what you get the the lot yeah, the liar. Exactly, yeah. You know what I mean? So I mean you're talking about like you know what I mean? No, remember the, remember like, that six iron hit out of the bunker at you know what I mean? Good. I had to get low, but it was like because you're so far around, you had to like get the Correct. club this way, yeah. so the the face was like that. And like, that's why it came you out like pretty. A, like a draw spinner to here. Like hold, I, it, like hold it on the hill to this short one. Yeah. So that the ball won't release to the right. With an open face? Hmm. I mean, you're gonna have well, to go. Not, like, no, 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 not like, spanky. No. Like that. Are you just talking about just, just a little just, bit, like a draw, know? like more draw spin than yeah, yeah, back yeah. spin? So like I that? that? I love that. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. So you you like more the inside feel, compressing it on the inside. I do. Right, but, but unless I want to hit the the high one. Yeah. Then so then you're up. on the then outside. I'm outside of the ball. Yeah. So I, I normally you're inside. I'm on the inside. Compressing it a little bit down. Exactly. Okay. And Rory, what are you? Are you? A, are you more I mean, of a? I guess it depends on the shot. I, th I mean, yeah. this is a this is a very mm. I mean for me it's a very simple shot. I'm just I mean if anything yeah just a little on the inside. And, yeah. So I think it, it obviously determines on the shot that you play based like, on the on the wedge you have too. Correct. And when yeah. I'm at when I'm at home practicing, I like to hit draws. Yeah. Because why? And, you know who was big because, into that? Trevino. What, so what? Draws around the green. Yeah. But why? Why do you like hitting draws? Because it's easy to kind of rake across and and get it raky and steep. Mm. It's a little harder and then to. It's inconsistent that way. Exactly. Isn't it? But trying to hit a hit draws in like that. Oh, oh, oh that it just was actually shallow that was, me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can put on a tee here. That's nice there. Which wedge is that, Jace? MG2, but this is like, is it's got to be, I, I think it's like six months old. I haven't changed. How are the grooves? <laughs> the grooves, uh, see the difference between, so how, how much do you change your uh, wedges? Oh, I mean, I change Once my every two, wedge. two tournaments? Two, two or three tournaments, yeah. He changes his wedge every every week, right? A lot. Every, every. Because I practice a lot at home. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, sa play, I'm the same way. I don't play 12 events a year. Yeah. <laughs> Talking, giving me crap about playing 12 events a year. Um, but. <clears throat> talking about it so we're on very grippy you know into the grain bermuda grass here but i know that if i have the same you just gradually get used to the spin so i'm not going to get as much spin as these guys but when i'm hitting a chip normal chip shot i know that it's going to come out this way every yeah, single time mm -hmm. the raw face is holding up better than raw face is great just... yeah because he's playing a different wedge and he's got the black yeah which is the raw face right 
But I like I like hitting chips off an upslope like this in Bermuda because mm. it, it prevents you from dragging the handle. Yeah. And like and I, I that would be my bad habit would be I I drag the handle and it's just not. So when, when you, you have to feel, you have to feel like you have to you have to feel like, like everything match, matches matches up. up. Yeah. You got to hit it perfect. Yeah. So I was playing with Tiger at Hero World Challenge when he went when he flung like six five oh, or six, dude. And I, I dude, I get it because I've had I've had that exact same problem. And then I had to change my technique. Was you, is your technique different now from back when we played when you when you did do that to right now? I would say yes because I can't separate my hips like I used to. Yeah, yeah. Like I used to yeah. be able to take like not not hips not move going back. Is that has that improved your chipping though? No, because I just everything to, moves as one. Now. I had to like learn how to take the club back differently. Because this doesn't I can't get it this to move. hold. You used to yeah. feel a hip turn when you chip? Me, like no, this it, guy it feels to. everything. Yeah. But because everything moves now because of the fusion. So I had to relearn how to oh, that's how it all moves. Cause I can't go like that anymore. Yeah, because he would it, you, it, I mean you felt you felt everything through the Every, hand everything in my hands, and, it, and I still do, but I can't keep so my you, hips still. So do you still? But do you still set it? I do set it, but I have but my hips actually move now, okay. which I, I'm, I'm forced to because of the surgery. Oh, you can't say sorry. You can't, can't separate your. I can't separate your, it. Your upper and lower is mm -hmm. that what you mean? Okay. Can't do it anymore. Right, right. So everything sort of has to go as one. Exactly. Okay. Right. Which is crazy. But what is each of your best tip for chipping into the grain? Like Jason, huh? um, I don't think for about amateurs. I, I, yeah, I don't think about I, I don't think about it too much to be honest. But like, obviously, this is into the grain up upslope, so it's going to be easier. Yeah, you know what I mean. But my two things is uh, if I have a problem, I always hit behind the ball. I mean, some people like either scull it or yep. behind the ball, but it's because my head goes this way. So Tiger yep. alluded to it early where when Covers he was trying to hit that spit, he's just covering it this way with his so. A good technique for me, I mean, you, I'm over exaggerating it here, but I grab it and I, mm -hmm. I take the club back, and then I, I feel like I'm kind of keeping this left shoulder down. Same thing in the bunker. You know, obviously, I'm trying to feel like I'm. Have you ever seen Alex Noren chip? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of like that. Yeah. You know, but I'm not really thinking about it because I just do it, obviously do it in practice. So if I can cover it a little bit better that way, my head doesn't do this, and I can mm -hmm. actually chip it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm not. I like different to these guys. I keep it very wide, no wrist hinge. Yeah. You start bringing. It's like a watch. The more moving parts, the less simple it yeah. is. So I just try and keep it. As Your simple. miss is just kind of a little bit of a drop kick that doesn't dig. Yeah, that's yeah. because it keeps it so shallow. Yeah, exactly. And that's what's so nice about it, especially yeah. off Bermuda, when there's you know different lies and different grain. Because that's a like it is nice to feel that sort of. The structure in your arms and yeah, that's you know, that's nice. Yeah, you know, and it just keeps. I was a touch thin, but it's it's good off like a bare lie or yeah. mm. you know, that's where it's nice. I, I, mean, I think I think with the, the different my technique, I keep a towel under my arm, so it kind of forces. I try and keep this right <coughs> arm as straight as possible until yeah. it can't go any further. It has to bend. And I, I know I get it, and I get nervous when I think of that. Yeah. <laughs> now, because, why is that? Because I like to feel it in my yeah. hands and yeah. the club head moving. Yeah. Just like I do when I putt, it's the same thing. Like yeah. everything, I'm so handsy. So yeah. that's but you're that's a very external cue, right? Like that's like, yeah. I I had my feels had to change because of yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. procedure. Yeah. And so, how about ball position for you? Depends you, on what shot I'm playing. Well, right now, what do you what shot you want to play? Well, if I want to cut it, I put the ball up. But, but you don't so even. But the feel, thing man. is, though, but you don't even so think feel. about it. No, it just. It just yeah. We had so many chip shots. It's, it's all the back. Yeah, but he's got so much feel. It's like he's. It's like how he plays his iron shots. I mean, if you. Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable. When he putts, he has a different stroke for. Yeah. For Poana to to normal gra yeah. other grains. It's just like, I. I think that's like genius level, because I can't think of stuff like that. Because I'd be. But, I think I'd be off the but, tour. But, but, but everybody has their own different cues. 100%. And, like, I don't really feel my body move that much. I feel everything in my hands and the club head. You're a very underrated chipper. Your short game is very, like, Thank I know you. you get a lot of... You no, know, it's, de but it's definitely... You get a lot of praise for your driver and your irons, but your, your chipping yeah, is sneaky Yeah, it's definitely good. improved. Um, 
And I think because of that, I was saying this last week, because my short game has improved, mm. it takes the pressure off my long game. That's and true. then I can go at pins, and if I miss yeah. a green, it's fine. I'll get it up and down, and I'll move Correct. on to the next. And so it gives me so much freedom with my long game. And I think that's the reason that I've had a good year this year is because, yeah. you know, if I hit it in the fairway, it's yeah. like, okay, go time. And if I don't, I'll get it up and down, I'll move on. Yeah. Plus it also keeps the momentum of the round going. Yeah. It's yeah. that one key yeah. save here 100%. and there. Exactly. Right. Keep the round going. Yeah. You pick a, you guys pick a spot? I pick it, so that's all I do. I pick a spot and I just try to react to that. <coughs> for the most do you part. try and match the practice swing? Do you, like, cause I know that you have No, swing. I just, I visualize the flight. I, visual, I visualize the flight from here to where, and the trajectory to where. And then that'll determine how far short or yeah. long you're gonna yeah, yeah. land it. Yeah. And what do you? I don't ever see a spot. You really? look at the hole, right? Mm -hmm. So that's I the- I don't know how to hit to a spot. Yeah. So if you, I reckon if you hit to a spot, you'd hit, you pull up short every single time. Probably. That's so, one yeah. thing I learned, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean. I feel everything, like that. I've taken the whole environment. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, where for me, it's like, <coughs> I'll usually put like little discs on the ground if I'm practicing perfect. or whatever, and I just. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that's, I go here, there's a little pitch mark. Okay, got it. And hit that was terrible. Head. No, but yeah, right. but that, it's, it's a, it's a, I it's was, a bit like my putting as well. I sort of I pick my spot and I just sort of try to. Do you react find to when it. you pick a spot that you misread a lot of chips, or are you pretty decent at reading it from when it lands? I'm, um, yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's sort of like two different parts. It's like the chip part, and then the, and then and the, it's roll, the, the roll, part. the roll yeah. part. And this yeah. is when, like, when I was growing up, uh, talking to Sevy about how he chips. Mm. He doesn't want to cut anything, so no cut spin. So the yeah. hands keep coming back yeah. so he can hit everything straight. So when he reads a chip, it's just like a putt. Yeah. Yeah. Like it doesn't yeah. check into the right like yeah. most people do. Yeah. So like did, did, he, oh. did he release the hands in yes, that way did, as yeah. well? And it's, he got so his like, hands, like, <coughs> but he got so his hands low so low, like, 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 like down by his knees. Yeah. And, and he had long arms too. Yeah. And he was like, kind of like Patrick Reed style where Correct. the hands go. Hands went, wow, covered it. That's impressive, man. There you go. I want to see your bunker shots. Me? Yeah. It's hit a couple bunker shots real right. quick. You're taking off in a second, but. Your bunker the bunker. sick. Who's the best bunker player you've ever seen? No, not ever seen. Not me, not. Who's the best bunker player you've seen then, Jason? Um, Brett Rumford is yeah, pretty good. Rummy's so yeah, Rummy's so good. Rummy's unbelievable. <clears throat> um, just trying to think. Honestly, when. What do you think makes him era? such a good bunker player? Why do you think? Well, he gets so low to it. He sets yeah, his hands so hand. low. And when you, get, when you get that much depth in the hands being down, I mean, you get so much of that bounce. So, and you've got so much margin for error. Correct. Then. Do you adjust your handle height depending on the length <clears throat> of the shot? Do you go lower on a short one? Um, I, my, my problem with going a little bit too low, like, I mean, I love going, I de definitely love going low. But if, if I go too low, sometimes I can get too low and it starts going left. Yeah, grab, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then you, you, can, you can kind of... So my, my big thing, like, once again, I'm, I'm always drawing a line. Hmm. And Matching just, the shaft up to the line? Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to match the shot. You know what I mean? I mean, that was a little bit yeah, fat, seriously. but... How's that sound? Yeah. When you, yeah. Hit, when you hit bunker shots, do you have that audio? That's just like... So I'm trying to take... <clears throat> as little sand as possible and hit it as close as I can to the bunk, uh, to the ball. That's that's all I'm trying to do. But I'm and like, and then I'm trying to hit it, the, I'm trying to swing it a little bit shorter and just accelerate the, sh the, yeah, yeah, the club. Totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Mmm. How good is that? I don't know. So give us so one bunker out. shot. Talk about your technique. So you chip gloveless, but you okay, bunker my shots. Bunker shots. Not and flop shots. I put a glove on. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. I want the longer swing and the longer and swing. Yeah. Speed. A little fat. Yeah, really fat. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> one shot, Tiger. Kind of explain to us. And what you think about in a bunker, real quick. Again, I, I like feeling hands down mm. and back. Yeah. Mm. 
because I grew up with a 56 only mm. and also my 7 iron. So I just have to get down in this way and get it releasing. So I like to throw so you my right hand. feel a lot hand. of right hand? I throw it a lot with my right hand. But you're all your, feel, but all your, all all your feels are right hand. dominant, I'm right? I'm right handed. Yeah. I, even your swing. I, full swing, I end up feeling my right hand. Yeah. So for me, I like feeling my hands low, mm. hands back. See, it. see, it's like but, kind of but, abbreviated swing. Right? But the problem is, is that <clears throat> when I've come back from the surgery, mm. the only part of my game I can't work on is my bunker game. And why is that? Is it because it's it, because of being in side bend, in side yeah, bend, side bend, and then I can't move it, you know? rotate from here. Yeah. So yeah, I've had yeah. to not practice that much. Yeah. So I've had to. So is there any to, anything that you can change your practice to help your bunker game? You well, can't just I open up more to it. I hit a lot of flop shots. Mm. So it simulates the same motion right. of what I like to feel in my right hand. Yeah. Yeah, and you're not as low. And, yeah, and, and the, you're not, the, more, yeah. the lower I get, the harder it is to side bend and rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, imp that's impressive. What are, you, what, what are you feeling? It's the same thing. So my, like my bad habit in a bunker is I get too open. And then because I get too open, the handle starts to go forward. So for me, if I draw, I need to just like square up. Yep. So if I square up and get it off my, get it off the inside of my heel, and then same thing, just match the, the shaft to, to that sort of vertical line. It's amazing. All good bunker players, not one of them break it. And that's the, that's the. What do you mean? Just throw it in? No, like. Oh hold yeah. Hold on to it like that. All good bunker players, let it go. Yeah. So the the key for your bunker game is when is you start step. hitting it low. Do you, you know that you're or getting I just, too I, lean? Or when I start hitting it fat, because I know yeah. that I'll get open and like that yeah. yes. I'll drag the handle. Yeah. So like if anything, I, I want to feel like I'm almost closed to the target yeah. Yeah. in the bunker. And then you go. On and this then way. from there, it's a bit like you. I, yeah. you know, right. I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From there, I can I can like cover it. And you find that you hit a pretty straight spinning shot. Yes. Correct. Yeah. And yeah. you're the same. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm like I like kind of yep. spin a little bit off to the, from left to right. Yeah. Uh. So, but like for me, all I do is I draw these you know, draw target the lines there. So you're not, you can keep there, neutral. And then I just I keep neutral the whole time. And then from there, it's just easy. Yeah. yeah that's perfect. Do you guys think about how hard okay, how, how you need right. to hit it? Absolutely. Right. 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 Yeah. And we finally yeah, get the good yeah. stuff. All right. I'm interested. Golly. No, you guys stay in the bunker. Like Tiger's got to go. It's gold right now. <laughs> he can send me an invoice. That's money. That is so good there, bro. Yeah. I love that. Just low and... Yeah, and it's high. Yeah. You know what I mean? Using the loft well. Oh, we, that's We the... made a oh, game my. improvement... Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Can't miss out of the bunker. So I'm interested you... what you guys think of that. <laughs> okay. It's a... Uh... So does that mean that I don't have to open the face as much? I don't know. It'd be interesting, you know, we haven't had players of your caliber really play with it, but it's obviously designed kind of to come out of the bunker really easy. It's like the alien wedge. <laughs> nice. Pretty you didn't really open that too much, no, did you? No, that's why I didn't. I wanted to test it out. Let me see. It should be really good out of the sand. Yeah, I would like think so. Just go bounce. straight through it. Oh yeah. What do you think? Pretty dang good. <laughs> Pretty dang <laughs> yeah. good. Oh, look at their strikes as well. Yeah, you don't need to do much with it, do you? Mm-mm. It looks like a normal high toe wedge. Yeah, no, it's exactly great. from the top. It's just got a very forgiving sole for the bunkers. Yeah. How's it feel on the fairway? And I don't know. We can get some chips with it. Yeah. That's Does it seem really hard to dig? Real. It doesn't dig. Yeah. No, it, it, it comes out pretty good. It, yeah, you could. Might as well hit a few chips with it. So yeah. Wide. That's really wide. So both of you played high toe for a little bit. Obviously, the higher center of gravity, yeah. 
you both had some success with it. I mean, it's it's been a great product for the amateur. This this would be really good at a rough bunker, normal fairway. Flop shots are going to be hard. Yeah, you know, because of the bounce. Because of the bounce. But don't you think for I mean for amateurs, how often should they be hitting a flop shot? No, because you should really honestly take your medicine and um, chip. But like, I mean, it's not too, it's not too bad. You know what I mean? Let me hit a flop shot. Too. Got some spin on it. That was pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. It's that pretty good. That had an unbelievable amount of spin. Did it? Yeah, it was. It danced sideways. I'm hitting a flop shot, man. Oh, oh, pretty good. Look at the, you're leaving half the ball on the face. There. Yeah. It's actually, actually all right to chip with, I would yeah, say. Yeah, like I said, I think, I think out of the rough, it's going to be spectacular. Out of the bunker, it's going to be great. And if it's firm, like a British Open, it, there it'll, be, a it'll, little be, bit. it'll be hard. So when, when, when it bounces, you just got to swing a little bit shorter and not hit it as hard. Oh, there you go. That's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, so when, like, when I find that like off hard pan, you have to swing a little bit shorter. Easier? It, yeah, lots, lots more than what you think. And then off soft turf, you have to hit it harder. Oh. Mate, this is, uh, it's a pretty impressive wedge, dang. I don't actually don't mind it. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. It's just, it feels like you'd set it down and you can, you know there's a, yeah. <laughs> there's a bunch there. Yeah. I mean, a tour version with just a hair less bounce might not mm. be a bad. It's like nice under the rock. Yeah. How? Thanks, brother. I'm just trying to think, man. It'd be good. Right there. I definitely like this. What's the best up and down of your career, Jason? Uh, I was one of I've had I've had a lot actually because I've missed a lot of greens. But one <laughs> that I can remember was 15 at Augusta. I was just over the bunker on the right, and the pin was left. Okay. Like front left, kind of thing, and I hit a flop spinner from ju literally it was right here to like I mean just there you know what where I mean? were you like right of the right bunker yeah right just past the right bunker like it was literally bunkers here and I'm here and then the flag's right there and then if I don't hit it clean it's in the water yeah. and I hit this thing I spun it and it just was like this far really that was, yeah that was pretty that was a pretty good one or there was another time. Uh, playing St. Jude, well now we have the FedEx yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. tournament there. I miss it left on 10, and the, the tree mm. there on 10 used to overhang a little bit better, yeah. a little bit more. Um, and I hit it left, and I'm like, I was like, I'm dead, because you can't really have a shot. I look up, and I'm like, yeah, there's a leaves, bunch of leaves there. I'll just hit into those leaves, sting it out of the, like hit it in there. It'll it'll take off all the sting and drop down. I hit it, hits the leaves, bang, from here to there. <laughs> no way. Leaves, if it misses leaves, it's like gone. The like other side of the green could have kicked anywhere. Yeah, so I hit the leaves and went down to like six feet, hold a putt for par and moved on. That's funny. How much work do you do on your short game? What's your chipping wise? Do you have a yeah, specific I, I, practice routine? I do, I do, like, I like do. Putting? Yeah, I do. So it's like an hour and a half of chipping, bunker work, rough work. And I so I start with like trying to hit in the like a disc like yeah, yours yeah. or hit on a disc. So I'm just working so on to a point. Yeah, I'm, I'm working yeah. to a point because I, I pick pick my targets. Different so trajectories I, or different trajectories, but like the way that I do it is I just set up and then I just manipulate the hands. I don't really need to. I mean, if I need to, if I need to hit a really low one, I'll put a back stance. But I mean, trying to trying to do it. I mean, I'll do it to that one. So. I'll hit a low one here. Oh, 
right? So I'm and just that's just a little more like lead I, it, with the just, left. Yeah, it's, it's just like I. So what it is, Rory? I I just literally go there, set it up, and I just lean the hand forward, and okay. keep, and then I just and turn, just keep that turn angle. and keep it there. Mm -hmm. And then if I do, if I want to hit a, like a neutral flight. It'll go. I mean, you can manipulate it how yeah, high you nice. want. Yeah. And then that's you go nice. to a. Would to you a, say it's like low, medium, high, or do low, you have medium, high? Yeah. In betweens, you do too. Yeah, and then I can do in between if yeah. I want to, but it just all depends on what kind of yeah. shot you want to hit. What trajectory you're seeing. And then you just move your hands back. Mm, nice. Obviously, create more. And then, you're, and then for those three shots, your landing areas are obviously different, different and yeah. then having yeah. to see that as well. Yeah, yeah, so, but I mean, it's an hour and a half of, of chipping every day, hit into a disc, work on technique. Then um, I, I get, you know, I'll get 10 balls, try and chip it into a, a circle. Yeah, a three foot circle. Yeah, like three foot, foot circle. Three foot. Yeah, three foot, three foot circle, because that's a goal at the end of the day, because you really shouldn't miss a putt from three feet, yeah. inside three feet. But, there's all, but there are, I mean, there are times whenever you get over a chip shot and you're like, I'm going to hold this, or, you know, yep. you feel. Yep. Like even to this one, you know, for maybe a little closer, but this one here, it's such a simple chip. You, yep. like for me anyway, I'd think, you know, I've got a pretty good chance of holding that. Yeah. You know? Well, cause you can be aggressive with it too, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the, the big thing is that I always try and work to a three foot uh, like circle around the hole, but um, most people will probably chip it to it between six and 10 feet. So that's why I'm always killing the six footers and 10 footers with my yeah. putter. You know, I'm just always working on it because you, you'd love to, you'd love to chip it stone dead all the time like this guy. <laughs> How about no. like in uh, Lynx golf? Do you mm. chip the same or do you adjust? Um, I think you, you obviously don't play for as much spin. You play for a little more release. But I'm that I'm not someone that that goes down to like a seven iron or an eight iron or I don't practice that much for that. So I'm never gonna I'm never gonna hit a shot in competition that I haven't practiced enough to know exactly what it's gonna do. Yeah. So. I mean, the lowest loft I'll go down to is maybe like my pitching wedge. But my pitching wedge, again, you can put it a little off your back foot and hood it and just, but at least you know that- chip with a little bit of check. A touch, yeah, a touch. Do you find that it, it releases so much more? I mean, I obviously will, but like it releases more than you think and you hit it too far or with a with pitching, a, wedge, with pitching a wedge? wedge? Yeah, Yeah, I always have to tell myself, you don't have to hit this as hard as you think. Yeah. That's always my, it just because you know, as soon as you, especially that I've now went to the 730 wedge instead yeah. of the mill grind wedge, mm. like I just feel like it comes off just that little bit faster. Yeah. So it's just a matter of trying to, I mean, obviously practicing that the week of the tournament and getting a little more comfortable with it, but I'm never, like when I'm practicing here in Florida, I'm never taking on an eight iron or seven iron and bumping it or just, I'm yeah, not, just No I'm one not ever really it. works on it though, is it? Well, that's the thing. So why, why would you play it if you don't work? Yeah. I mean, but that's a style of golf over here. We use 60 most of the time over yeah. here. But what I and would, you can, but you can you can create so many shots with a 60, right? Yeah. But what I would do, I'd mess around out here. So say I take my 52, and then I'll start messing around with different, you know, points of where I want to land the ball. Okay, I want to land this just before that golf ball and kill it on the hill. And then yeah. just let it, you know, just stuff like that. Yeah, that that's bad. I'd, yeah, I'd rather do that stuff. Yeah. But again, that's just, I mean, it's hard to say training your feel, but that's all it is. It's visualization and, or, yeah, it's okay. But you've got, I, to, you've got to train the visualization though, don't you? Yeah. You know, I'd much rather hit shots like that, where there's a little bit of flight on it and it takes one bounce and kills it a bit and then. Do you always try and fly it on the green or do you? No, not necessarily. It, it depends. It depends on the grass. Like at Augusta, for example, when it's wet, you can you can you can bounce them up, and because that wet ryegrass, it sort of skids. But once that ryegrass gets dry, dry. it's so sticky, sticky and you can't bump can't it. Get it through, so, yeah. th so then you have to start trying to land it on the green. Okay. When you have to start landing it on the green, that that gets. I mean, it gets hard both ways, though. To be honest, because like you remember, like any pin on eleven up the right hand side, and you hit it right, and it's dry and then you try and putt through it, it yeah. bounces, how much does it bounce? Yeah, I know, it's brutal. It's, just, it's really, really difficult. Then you chip, if you don't catch quite catch it good enough, then it either like sticks in the ground and stops like right on the fringe there, now you got like a 10 foot, 11 foot putt down the hill. Yeah. yeah. Or you hit it too hard and it kind of clips through it, you know, so it's just, it, 
it can be really difficult. How about the different roughs, you know, Bermuda mm. to... Yeah, so again, like out of the rough is when, like I was saying earlier, like I love how, I love how Jason gets so low with it. And like he keeps the structure of his arms so good. Like, so imagine, you know, this, you know, left and right arms like a V and just trying to keep that V and like real shallow. That's, exa that's exactly, that's exactly the Will you the get field. steeper out of Bermuda then? No, 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 I almost mm -hmm. get shallower. More shallow? I get shallower. It's, yeah. a, it's like you want to feel like you're hitting up on it. Because, yeah, because Bermuda is actually, it's not, the grass itself is, it, um, it, the club gets through it pretty, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the roots at the bottom yeah. that are real sticky. But if you're, if you're keeping it shallow and you're just going through the top end of the grass, it go, it, it sort of slides through it pretty Comes well. Comes out pretty good. It depends, obviously depends on the lie. Yeah. yeah. But like, you know, at a Bermuda, a Bermuda rough, you hit more like shots that just go right there. And set, because you're trying to hit down on it rather than if you kind of, kind of feel like. I, you know what I, you know what's been a great rule in golf this year that's actually helped me out of rough, like following through right. is that you can't double hit it. Hmm. You know, like that's yeah, a new so rule. So, so you're not so concerned with a double hit. So mm. you can actually really accelerate through. Yeah. And not, you know. Yeah, no, I get that for sure. Right? That's, that's, yeah. a, that's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting to hear. Yeah. I, um, it's total, totally different compared to your normal rye or your blue, uh, yeah. Kentucky bluegrass up like the north, like northeast area. Like I love, love hitting rough shots out of that type of grass. Up in the, in the northeast. Uh, up in the yeah. northeast. Yeah, it's like, so I mean, nice. It's just it so splash. Well, you're yeah, what, what's, no, what's because you're, tr you're trying to, you're trying to, for me anyway, I mean, I guess it's with Bermuda a little bit too, but I'm trying to get the club to enter the rough like a couple inches before the ball. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to like yeah. slide it in and underneath, like side, like a scything yep, yep. motion. I get that. And that's, that's really good. That's a great technique because yeah. you're not, it, it, it's hard to explain it, especially on camera without having the, without seeing the ball in, in a lie, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, every Because if it's back, like, you know obviously. how when you when you walk off the green and you go to the next tee and then you miss, a, miss it into that grass that goes into the grain? Yeah. So I so into the grain, I, I learned a, a good thing. I always try and draw it into the grain. Mm. I always try and draw my, my shots into the grain, like with a long, longer grass. Yeah. Like you miss a, you know, you hit it over the back of a green and it's on that walkway going. Yeah. You know, because the club will always get through it if you're drawing it. Yeah. That's, imp Whereas that's impressive. Whereas if you're trying to go this way. So I'm more, I'm more it that way, but I feel like if I'm trying to go for that pin, pin, like say for instance it's flat, and I'll be landing it just, you know, if I'm hitting a rough shot and I'm landing it halfway there, I feel like if I need to land it there, I have to hit it about three quarters of the way. Okay. So you're almost trying to hit it double as hard. Yeah. Right. And it comes out yeah. like pretty solid every time. But like this, it's amazing how many different techniques there are. Like he does about it around the greens when the pin's way above you. Mm. Do, do you aim that's, at like the top of the pin? Tough. Like bunker shots, especially because yeah. you're down low and you're trying to look up at this thing, and it's mm. it's sometimes hard. I feel like you always come up short. I, I try I and I try and visualize if I'm standing over it. I try and see the picture. Like if I go up and walk walk to the you know top of the bunker, and I see where the pin is, see what what's in front of the the pin and then I go down back into the bunker I try and visualize what's over the bunker how much green there is how much mm, what yeah, the, yeah, where the yeah, pins yeah, at yeah, yeah. then I just go from there and then I'm like okay well that's that okay how, what kind of flight do I need and where do I need to land it so I see it I see the ball going out of the bunker at a certain height at a certain speed yep. and landing yep. and that's what I try and match it up 100%. to it and then usually it'll, it'll kind of 100%. be all right I'm very yeah with bunker shots I'm all about seeing the launch yeah. If I yeah. can see the launch and visualize that, then yeah. it makes it a lot easier. How yeah. often are you chipping without your 60? Uh, I'm going to say 99% I'm chipping with a 60. 60. It's yeah. pretty rare to go down. Very rare. I, uh, if, I go to the Brit wedge. if I go to the British, then I'm... The what, sorry? The British or the Open Championship. Yeah, the Open Championship. Yeah. How about you? Do you use your middle wedge? <laughs> uh, a little bit. I, I would say if he's 99%, I would say I'm more like 90%. Yeah. I'd say 9 out of 10 chips lob wedge. Because again, we're talking about manipulating the face, yeah. closing it down, opening it up. But if there is a, you know, because I don't have a lot of bounce on my lob wedge, if there's like a little bit of a nasty lie, I might go down to 56 or 52 where there's a little more bounce. Yeah. Just a little more forgiving. Yeah. A wedge ain't bad for you. It's pretty good. I'm trying to spin it down that hill. Yeah. 
I actually quite like it. The only bad thing is when you get hard pan and you yeah. got to hit a flop shot, you're done. Yeah, it'd be no chance. Yeah, it'd be no chance. I wonder if just a little less bounce version. That's got so much razz on it. Yeah. Oh, a little bit. It's pretty good. I like it. I've got to sit down. My back is sore. Yeah, we're good here. We're good here? I think so. I think we can. We got a good, some good stuff. Get a water and. Can I go over there? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Move on to the next. Woo! Thanks, Ross. Thanks, guys.